Hello my friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This will be extremely quick short video for a reference only. Sometimes people look for information online and they cannot find it. So here we have Toyota's B6 engine 3.4 liter 5VZFE in 2001 Forerunner. And this customer, who's friend of mine, is having a problem with the NOx sensors. He has a hard code for a NOx sensor. I had to remove all of this to replace it for him. He did choose to replace both of them, despite the fact they are extremely expensive this is the ordering number anytime you deal with it it's recommended also replace this wire this one is connected to the one this one to the two and this comes up into the engine area where are the valve covers and it's hooked into the harness so if the vehicle is old and you are doing this job replace it this wiring harness it's probably only two months old because toyota did complete both head gaskets on this engine however two months later he has a hard code he cannot get rid of the code for the number one now where is the number one and where is the number two so if we look regarding the factory manual if you look on the engine this is the passenger side the driver side the one on the passenger is the knock sensor number one and the one little bit hiding down here it's the number two as i said the wire is being clipped right here goes to both of them and then continues it's kind of being pinched down here continues up and this is actually the connector for it so this is a really quick reference only for people who some of them have even no idea there are two of these and they are looking for the knock sensor for this engine but there are two of them and this is the location this by the fact the wiring harness it's basically two months old they are being pinched right here i'm not sure if you see it so I immediately tested with the ohm meter the continuity of these wires to those connectors. But no matter how I bend it, it shows me continuity and it's not being interrupted. So he might be right, one of those sensors it's bad and he's willing or wanting to replace both of those. I'm in the time crunch, so I cannot show you how to test them and so on. But if we, if he will leave me the old parts, which most likely he will, we can do the video on how you can test those sensors. So thank you for watching and be subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See ya.